What's going on guys? Zuko back with another Dragonflight video. We are in the 10.1 PTR again looking at Enhancement Shaman today with the tier set bonus. Now I did a video on this like a couple weeks ago about the changes that came out for the tier set bonus for Enhancement Shaman. So if you want to know specifically about the tier set bonus, go watch that video. This is about the physical build, trying out just a physical build and in particular with a special trinket. And I want to talk about both those things today. So I'm going to run over what the tier set does really quickly, but really the in-depth guide on the tier set bonus is in a different video, okay? Two-piece bonus, Sundering increases your mastery by 24% for 15 seconds. Also, Sundering with the four-piece bonus increases your physical and fire damage dealt by 30% for 15 seconds. Your next three chain lightnings deal double damage and refund half of the maelstrom spent, okay? How does that work with a pure physical build? Well, here's the tree that I've kind of cooked up. We're not even running Lava Lash at all. We're not running Fire Nova, no Hailstorm, not spreading fire around at all. We're running Ice Strike only as a filler, but you really don't even need it, and I'll show you that in a minute. But it's there in case you mess up kind of the rotation. You're running Doom Winds, of course, Sundering. We have Physical Dogs with Alpha Wolf. So our dogs, whenever we summon them, increase our physical damage by 15% each. So that's 30% more Fizz damage from our dogs. 30% more fizz damage from the four piece. So we're doing 60% more fizz damage with our dogs plus sundering up at the same time. Okay, pretty insane. And then we obviously have storm strike with storm flurry and we're running the ascendance package because it also does physical damage. Your wind strike, if you get this proc, does a crazy amount of physical damage. Okay, we're also running legacy of the frost which to get us the cooldown back on our storm strike. That is pivotal to the rotation. So every time you Basically, every single time you press Chain Lightning in this pack, you're going to get your Storm Strike back, which is super cool. That's the build. What does this build do for you? Well, it triggers tons of Wind Fury damage, whether you're in Doom Winds or not. You get all kinds of resets on Storm Strike all the time. Resetting, 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 which allows you to splash damage with your Crash Lightning. And then you're getting resets from Legacy, and you're doing crazy amounts of physical damage with your Dogs and Sundering put together. And then you're cooling down your Feral Spirits faster than any other build that I have run. This thing gives you your Feral Spirits back in like 15 seconds or less. I guarantee you, on AoE packs, you're going to get your Feral Spirits up in about 15 seconds or less. Every single time you're using it. I'm going to show you this in a second. What do you need to make this build work? Well, I would say high amounts of haste are going to be really good. We're talking 30 to 35% haste because nearly everything for Enhancement Shaman, you can see it lights up in green in the bottom corner there. If a tooltip is green, it means that it is being reduced by your haste value. So you want to get as much as possible. Getting to about 35% haste is good. You're getting into a little bit of diminishing return. So after that, it's kind of a waste. But 30 to 35% is probably the range you're looking at. Okay? The final piece of this puzzle that I want to talk about before I do the demo is this trinket. This is a new trinket that is coming in 10.0 or 10.1, sorry, in the new patch. Okay? Which again is launching May 2nd. It's very soon. Baseline, it gives you 572 haste. Okay? Here's what it does. Casting spells and abilities has a chance to grant you a stack of domineering arrogance up to 10. Can I get one right now? No. I'll show you in a second. Summoning your feral spirit grants you 943 agility per stack and reduces your movement speed by 10%. We don't care about the movement speed. This, this trinket is insane. All you have to do is keep your feral spirits up for a long time. Keep casting feral spirits over and over and over again and you will continuously get this buff. I'm telling you... In the last test that I just did, I had my buff uptime on Dominating Arrogance was 64%. That is insane. This trinket basically says you get 572 haste and you basically get 1,000 agility. I'm, that's only one stack. So realistically, I was proccing this at always at two stacks or more. So you're getting about 1,800 agility almost all the time. This trinket should basically read... Like 1,000 agility and 572 haste. Or 1,800 agility and 572 haste. Because all you have to do is keep pressing Feral Spirits over and over and over again as much as you can. Let me show you that right now. Here's the build. The rotation for this build is incredibly simple. All you need to do is rotate between Storm Strike, Crash Lightning, and Chain Lightning. Not necessarily in that particular order. But just remember, there's talents like this here. Each target hit by Crash Lightning increases the damage of your next Storm Strike. So you want us Crash Lightning before Storm Strike. And then your Chain Lightning will reduce the cooldown of your Crash Lightning 
and your Storm Strike because of Legacy. So anytime you press Chain Lightning, your Storm Strike will come off cooldown, basically. And anytime you press Chain Lightning, it will reduce the cooldown of Crash Lightning. I believe it's in the Crash Lightning tooltip here. Uh, this increases the damage. Is it not saying here? It must just be baseline. I'll show you in a second. But they all trigger off of each other. So you want to press Storm Strike, and then your Crash Lightning is going to buff the damage of that Storm Strike. So Crash Lightning first. Your Chain Lightning is the conduit for everything. Your Chain Lightning will give you your Storm Strike cooldown back and your Crash Lightning cooldown back. It's really cool. Here's what we're going to do. Wind Fury Totem is down. Remember our tier set bonus. We're going to press <clears throat> Doom Winds and then Sundering. And then we're going to go. But we'll make, make sure we have our dogs up first. Because when our dogs are up and our Sundering is down, we're doing 60% more physical damage. Here we go. Are you ready? Dogs first. Crash Lightning. Doom Winds. Sundering. And we go. Look at our damage. Look at our dogs cooling down. They're back already. Our dogs are back. We'll cast them again. So now we have another buff rolling. That trinket buff I was telling you about. It's still rolling. Okay. Dogs are almost back again, by the way. One Ice Strike there. Storm Strike. Chain Lightning. Storm Strike. Crash Lightning. We got a proc on Ascendance. Summon our dogs again. Don't forget to summon them. Our Ascendance will actually trigger... Um, our Wind Strikes will trigger Chain Lightning. I have to be careful that I'm not doing that. Okay. Storm Strike. Storm Strike. Crash Lightning. Chain Lightning. Storm Strike. Okay. Sundering's coming back. Big Sundering. And we go. Get the dogs out. 60% Fizz damage right now. So we want to press Storm Strike as much as possible in this window. Storm Strike. Storm Strike. Crash Lightning. Chain Lightning. Our dogs are back. Summon them again. We have four dogs up right now. If you have four dogs up, you're literally getting 60% Fizz damage just from the dogs. If you have four dogs up. Okay. Big Wind Strikes here. Big Wind Strikes. There we go. Dogs are almost back again. There, they're back now. Let's summon them. We're keeping that buff up. Earth Wardens, we get, we're getting 1,800 agility right now. 1,800. That's insanity. Okay? We're hovering about 190k. Here comes our big window. Sundering is back. I'm going to wait for a second. Okay, dogs are up. Here we go. Dogs, Sundering, Doom Winds. This is the big window. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Big Wind Fury damage. As much as we can get. There we go. Huge proc. Our dogs are back. Summon our dogs again. Big damage. There we go. 190. 190k is what we're hovering at right now, okay? 190k. Here's what the damage looks like. Chain lightning is huge, of course, because you're getting big damage from the chain lightnings on your tier set bonus, and it's the only spender that we're using, so it ends up being lots of damage. Crash lightning is huge because we're pressing it all the time. Remember, guys, this is only on five targets. If there was 10 targets, my Crash Lightning and my Alpha Wolf damage and the splash damage that I, the extra splash damage you get from Crash Lightning when you Storm Strike, that would all go way up with more targets. It scales. Anytime you get the detonate from deeply rooted elements, that hits all nearby enemies. Okay, so this, this just scales with more targets. So Chain Lightning, Crash Lightning, Spirit, this is the Alpha Wolf here. Spirit Bomb is, is Alpha Wolf. Then Wind Fury Attack, Sundering, Storm Strike, you can see it all right there. Big, big damage there. Big damage. We did about 190k sustain on five targets. The trinket uptime. What was that like? Let's look at that. Trinket uptime. Important here. Okay. Buff uptimes. Here we go. So we ended up getting, again, 60% on the Earth Warder's Dominating Arrogance. So that is a really, really high uptime. That's really high uptime. Okay. I don't actually know. I think the Dominating Arrogance is just the stack building up. But the actual proc is 60% uptime. That's because our Feral Spirits had 72% uptime because we were able to press them so often. This build cools down your wolves so fast. It's so fast, and it just feeds into the entire build and how it works. Because, again, if your dogs are up, they are giving you 30% more fizz damage. There were multiple times there where I had two sets of dogs up, which is 60% more fizz damage in Sundering. That's another 30%. We're doing 90% more physical damage. If you get a proc on Ascendance there, you're hitting Wind Strikes, and they're doing 90% more physical damage. That is bonkers. It is really crazy how much damage you're able to stack up there in such a short amount of time. On top of that, this build is so easy to pull off. 
It is the easiest thing you will ever play. There's nothing fancy about it at all. It's just Storm Strike, Crash Lightning, Chain Lightning. That's the whole rotation. When you have to do your big window, it's Sundering plus Doom Winds and make sure your dogs are up all the time. As soon as your dogs are cooled down, press your dogs again. Get your dogs up all the time. All the time. So this is like... There's no real cool... There, Doom Winds is the only real cooldown here, honestly, because on every single pack in a higher Mythic Plus, you're going to have Sundering up for every single pack. Every other pack, you'll have Doom Winds up to uh, to do your Giga Chad uh, window. That's when you're doing the big one. So this physical build, I think, is really, really fun, and I think it's very simple to pull off, and I think it synergizes really well with the new tier set bonus that's coming in in 10.1. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. You want to run the physical build in 10.1 for Enhancement Shaman? Let me know if you think it's garbage. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Love you all. I will see you in the next one.